Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman. We are back for another 270 video. Today is a special interview. We have the definitive Garrett Courier, I think I said your name right, interview. Is that right? That is right. The, uh, the French pronounce it Courier, but uh, here in America, I call it Courier. Courier, awesome. So it's the pride of Vermont, which we'll get into here in a little bit. Um, You've got the green walls. I'm here in the office, but uh, it's a mess in my office. So I've got the lovely 270 background. But for those of you who um, are not aware, uh, Garrett and I just squared off in the ATP tournament, the big uh, tournament that has tons and tons of loungers in it. And um, I think this is maybe the first or second time I've ever played Garrett. I don't, I, is this the first time? I think it's the first time. First time. So we've definitely crossed paths. We were in a, a group chat together with um, several knuckleheads. Uh, we compared notes on other players. But yeah, Garrett is an up and coming player. Um, I'll let him introduce himself here in a little bit. But um, I have to ask, uh, did you choose to have the walls green or <laughs> did you inherit the green walls? Oh, I just inherited these. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Well, so to set the stage a little bit, um, Garrett had to win his first round matchup. Um, I actually had a bye. So tell me about who you played in the first round of the ATP and how did that go? It went really, uh, really well. I can't exactly remember his name, um, but uh, we, we chose the ATO candidates. I was Reagan, uh, as I like to do, and uh, he was President Biden. So another very original matchup mm -hmm. and um i think the final score or the the ballot turn i was behind by over 50. wow over, and then i came back for a 274 to 264 win i think very cool and it went really well and you know after the last last month i came off of uh, making it to the finals in the atp 250 so i, I my confidence was up and then I won this first round match. And when I came to seeing who the second round match was, I, I, uh, <laughs> I knew I was in for a good one. Yeah. Buzzsaw. No. Um, and that's, that's great. So I am guilty of not paying too much attention to the lower, um, like the, the, the smaller ATP, um, tournaments, but there have been some good names, um, kind of deregulated or who have built themselves up into the, the, uh, the big tournament. So, um, yeah, so you see that Reagan, you see that Biden matchup, and I actually, to be 100% honest, I was unfamiliar with our matchup that we even had to do the tiers. I was just like, hey, I know Garrett from, from our group chat, like, I'm, I want to give him, like, you know, kind of a equal chance. Um, one of my good friends, Sapun Leonage, will do that, like, you know, he'll, he'll send, like, a, a tier list, and that way we're, you know, kind of on the same playing field, but that's a new rule inc incorporated with the, uh, the ATP this month. And so you chose with our match, you chose the B tier. So, that's right, yeah. I, um, and uh, you chose, uh, already, already forgot, you chose Nikki Haley. Yes. 2024, which yep. um, take me behind your thought process. Is, is she your favorite candidate or, or just like you're in that, that tier? I'm going to shoot you straight. Never played as her before. Um, <laughs> but I, I really, I like the stats. Um, helps a lot with my usual strategy um don't tell anybody um, yeah but, yeah uh, <laughs> no I, I i switch up the strategy now and then but no i i for the strategy i wanted to use against you uh again not knowing who you were going to pick i i thought that she was going to be the best one for 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 my purposes mm -hmm. um i didn't really know what to expect going into it but i knew she was solid enough for the beat for the uh B tier candidates. Mm -hmm. tier B, yep, and, and I'll be honest, she was actually my second choice. Um, and I was going to choose her. And then I went to the list. And I go, oh, Barack Obama. He's a uh, B tier candidate. I yeah. used to, my first like 600 wins all came with Bar Barack Obama. <laughs> so, wow. um, you know, he was like the only candidate I had at the longest time. So I've kind of got his math, you know, down to um, a good science. But you know, I get why he's a B tier candidate. We kind of talked about this a little bit off camera, but um, he has a negative oil, negative manufacturing, negative um, uh, old South, plus doesn't have a swing state bonus. So those are some critical areas where a lot of top players will choose Michelle Obama over Barack Obama, but you still get that 150 um, AA if you get it. 
the high tech bonus is massive, 135. And then, um, you know, that town and gown, if you can get it and bridge that to high tech or AA, you know, that's um, a pretty good solid core, which was kind of my strategy. Um, unfortunately, uh, we say this is the first time we've ever played, but tonight was like the fourth time we've ever played because we had this insane glitch. And I don't know, let me know in the comments of this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, if you've had something similar, it's the first time I've experienced it. Um, but back to back times, it glitched on the same turn, turn six. And it had something to do with the timer, I think, where the first time we did a three minute timer and then we moved to a five minute timer. And on my screen specifically, it the, there was more time on the timer than what it was supposed to be. I don't know if the the mechanics of the you know the, the turn starting got messed up and that's what happened. Um, I know the first time specifically, I had hit submit turn with well over a minute and a half left on the clock, and I thought you were taking your time to decide: should I go for Virginia? Should I you know pivot to California? Like I, you had several options, and then it showed it the turn on my screen, but then it loaded the game and it acted like I didn't make a move. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised. I you know, lay in there and well, I thought I had a pretty good move set up because at that, at that point the game was very close. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I uh, when I see a zero spent, you know, not really, but the game told me I went, sweet. Yeah. And I, and I took some states and then I got the message saying something's not right. And I went, uh, that I, I, I figured. Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, I mean, you did, you did something that a lot of top players like to do. Um, so I do have a tendency of leaving states open. Not that there was not a scenario where I wasn't leaving Virginia open because that gave me, I had to have it for high tech, but um, you know, Arizona was a really sneaky steal. And um, you know, that was, you know, critical for AA for swing. You had, you had uh, the swing state bonus and you had, I mean, playing against your strategy of the Ohio, Pennsylvania, Florida is tough because there's really not a route wherever in my shoes, you pivot back to try to take that away because you have such a core. Even if I take one of those States away, you, you still have over half, if not three quarters of the bonus. So you can kind of spread out. Um, you know, you pressured my Virginia, you pressured my North Carolina um, and, you know, it, it set up really good. And then as we, we replayed it today, um, you know, it's crazy because I hadn't thought about the thought process of what I was going to do because I was so worried about trying to recreate the turns <laughs> that I went for kind of a sneaky Pennsylvania steal. And the big turning point was I entered into California by two pips using all of my high tech money the turn prior and you only went one, which um, I know you couldn't have been happy when that happened. To tell you the truth, I was, I when I was going into that turn, I had double pipped, and then I went, you know what, I'm feeling okay. I'll I took a pip away, and I think I put some money into Florida or something like that to defend. Mistake. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I could have, and now that now that we played the game, I certainly could have clashed there. But uh, And I think if we clashed there, to be perfectly honest, I think that would have still resulted in a eventual me getting of California. Yeah, you had the high tech. I but know. it but it would have it would have forced me to either make a move in um, Illinois and um, try to get Latino or pit pressure pressure a little bit more because at that time you had all the pressure. I did I didn't have any pressure. So um it would have been it would have been interesting. I think the score might have been a little bit closer, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, it, 270 or 538, it, it doesn't matter. A win is a win and a loss is a loss. But I have to give you a That's ton right. of uh, kudos for anyone who doesn't know you. You know, you uh, are a good sport and uh, you're a good guy. And I appreciate it. Um, Thank you. And uh, you're trying your hand out at being a, um, a commissioner of a league inside the lounge. I am. It's, so. Uh... How's that going? And for those of, uh, who probably never, who aren't on the lounge or haven't seen your stuff, what's it called? And, and a brief kind of description of that. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's called the expedition. So it's, it's quite a new idea to the lounge, but, um, so a team of, it's, it's a semi-social tournament. It's not as broadcasted as survivor or big brother, that kind of stuff, but I try to, you know, make announcements regularly. But anyway, there's a, a group of uh, six heroes, we'll call them, 
and each week they face the unknown against uh, uh, villains, villains, and uh, <laughs> and uh, just uh, different matches that they aren't expecting until that week. Uh, and and when you pick a care when you pick a candidate, you stick with that candidate the entire time, and, and there's no duplicates. Uh, so, you know, if, if, if you get you know, James Bandelin has uh, original Bill Clinton, you know, he's, he's a solid player, but he's got to stick with that. And, you know, he, he's going to, he's had to face some really tough opponents and he's been working with it, but it's for some people, uh, you know, that's not the case. And the way this goes is each hero has three lives at the beginning of this. Mm-hmm. And, and each time they lose a match, they lose a life. And there are opportunities to gain them back, but overall, if you win, you just keep going. If you lose, you lose a life. Once you're out of lives, you're eliminated. Um, at the uh, time being, we still have four heroes left alive out of the six. Okay, uh, six started. How, can you name drop some people? Um, so you said yeah. James Bandolin, you got- James, uh, James Bandolin, um, uh, Chrissy Gibson is in there. Uh, Alex Keith. Okay. Uh, Alex, is, Alex, a very solid player. Who's his candidate? Uh, President Biden. Oh yeah, Alex Keith for the win. <laughs> yeah, he, he's still, he's still got three lives, and he's the, <laughs> the lone one of three lives. And um, and uh, Carson Gamar. Gamar. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. Um, he he's still in there too, but uh, he's playing his favorite uh, Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Uh, I've actually uh, never played Carson again as as when he's a but um, I, I I haven't either. But I've heard that's his you know that's his, his go to. But uh, we're in week six out of ten right now. And well, another thing is if the heroes don't make it, the game just ends. Like the you know I might have a bracket where the the remaining villains will fight it out to see who the most evil villain is. Mm-hmm. But other than that, the heroes will be all done if they they don't make it. But right now they're in week six, and they're. Uh, Got a few feelings left. Four or six left, well. and Alex has three lives still, so it's still possible for the heroes. Yeah, but cool. Uh, they don't. They don't know what's in store, but uh, it's it's a good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Something awesome. new, but something to try. Awesome, awesome. So, want to shift gears a little bit? Um, just I've, I've been trying to uh, you know occasionally interview some people for the channel. Um, so, you know, if you're from Vermont, you can be as specific as you want. But uh, what's it like where you're from, or where you're from, and um, what do you do outside of 270? Uh, so, you know, Vermont is up in the Northeast, a lot of maple kind of stuff going on. Um, I don't do much of that, but I, I do a lot of, uh, outside of 270, I do a lot of music. I uh, went to college for music technology, which is producing and recording and doing live sound. But I have a band um, of young guys like myself, and we're not playing pop music, we're playing music from the uh, 1950s and 60s, which okay. is fun. But uh, it, it, it's really, it's 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 great. We, we love playing and we've got, you know, summer full of performances after this crazy year. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so outside of 270, I do a lot of music stuff. Very cool. So next time when you're when, uh, when you're trash tech, trash talking me, you can tell me, hey, hey, Borman, you're in trouble. Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> will do. <laughs> da um, that's cool. Very cool. So, uh, Vermont and, uh, now my neck, I always ask this question. Do you ever find yourself, um, going specifically after Vermont in a 270 game? If I'm going to lose, I make sure to pip and seal it. If like this one, we were like two turns from the end and I, and I knew it was not going well. So I, I took the 90,000 and, and closed locked it, up. it in. I, yeah. Every time I play, every time I played Keegan Morin, I always do that to him. He knows at this at this point. But him and I have close games. I, I think I think he's beaten me once, and I've beaten him a couple of times. So those ones, I'm not necessarily looking for grabbing it for the loss. But um, good games with him. But yeah, I, I like to see Vermont. He he's a Rhode Island guy too. Uh, I, I I sometimes don't take that. <laughs> well, and you did. I, I don't know if you knew this, but I'm Missouri. In the last turn, you came from Missouri, and I was like, "No, no, no, you're not getting Missouri." I left Kansas alone. Uh, we don't, you know, here in Missouri, we don't like Kansas. So I, I actually locked every single possibility, but I was like, "Ah, he can have Kansas." <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I did what I could the last turn, but I, I told, I told myself I was not going to let you take the lot. Well, I had already sealed it by that point, but I made sure to message you and let you know again. Yeah, um, got it. I got my state. There you go. Yeah. 
Um, well, who is your favorite candidate? You said this was the first time you played with Nikki Haley. Who is your go-to? Reagan 84. Reagan 84. Still, awesome. I, I uh, you know, before Reagan 84 came out, it was original Reagan. I, yeah. uh, in, in real life, I'm a conservative, so I tend to gravitate towards the uh, conservatives in the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, Reagan is, you know, I lean towards him and you think the person who made rr84 stats did a really good job i uh i i think so i think so thanks <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah so i've been i've been working on the stats i did not do josh gottheimer um i think uh most people in the inner circles are aware of that one um yeah. but um i think people are going to be happy with I think they're going to do two versions of Uncle Sam. Um, so I think they're going to start off with just a one, an independent one, who's okay. like Santa Claus, like 15%, yeah. just to kind of yeah. not ruffle any feathers. And then we're working on one that's like a, like an old school, like a um, kind of a representation of what the United States was back when Uncle Sam yeah. was a character. So a really, really to, high youth yeah. vote, gun lobby, yeah. um, but some big penalties in some areas. That'd, and, that'd be cool. I think, yeah, we've uh, we've been working on updating primary mode behind the scenes, so we haven't had time to kind of finalize a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, people should look forward to seeing that character. And then um, I know as a fellow conservative, this doesn't move the needle for me, but um, be on the lookout for Hunter Biden coming to the game in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll be all the uh, waiting at the door. Um, <laughs> But uh, no, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Uncle Sam, Sam's and the uh, primary mode updates. Yeah, for sure. Um, two, two more questions, and I know you've got a plane to catch, so I don't want to um, abuse yeah. your time here. But uh, one question that I'm always asked in a job interview, or I'm asking, because I interview a lot of people um, when for the college I work with, um, and the question that we ask is, if you could describe your personality in a song, what song would it be? Hmm. I don't know, to be honest with you, that's tough. Um, so for me, I was asked this question and it's, it's kind of to get your critical thinking skills, like how fast, you know, cause no one goes into an interview thinking like, oh, they're not gonna ask you about a song, but you're a musician. Yeah. So I thought of that. Um, and this is a good thing and a bad thing. I'm honest, but like I struggle with like office work and I, luckily I'm in a job where I have like tasks, I'm salary, I can get it done kind of at home or whenever. Um, but you know, I struggle with the blame it on the ADD baby. Oh, the sale, right? <laughs> da, 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 bum, yeah. bum, bum, sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I have to go with something in my, my, my realm that I listen to a lot. You know, I'm really, uh, kind of, well, you said I'm a good sport from our match and I'm kind of a, kind of a happy go lucky guy. So I like to have i'm not a huge party animal but I, I like to have fun so you know like fun 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 by the beach boys my uh -huh. favorite band my favorite band um they uh that that one you know everybody's I'm not, I'm like, got surfing well, surfing usa well, wrong song but uh, you're good close enough <laughs> but uh no i i think you know that song kind of represents kind of who i am in terms of the just out there, there to have a good time um that kind of thing yeah, pretty cool. My other song that I do, like if I'm actually giving a, a professional answer is, and I am always, I mean, I'm very competitive, don't get me wrong, but um, in people, like there are very, very, very few people in life I just don't like, and I try to get along with everybody and Same. because I'm happy cup along if you feel, that's like my go-to answer just because yeah. um, once I hear that, it gets in my head all day and I don't, I don't hear that song a lot, but right, um, you know, it's just, it's one of those things. Um, I'm usually the guy that decides what song people are singing or humming the rest of the day. Like, gosh, why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the last question I want to ask, um, do you have any questions for me? Um, and I know this is the first time we've actually um, sat down kind of one-on-one. -on -one. It could be game-related, non-game-related, um, but uh, I want to give you the floor here. Um. Who's, I didn't who, tell you I, I was doing this, so. Yeah, uh, I know you've probably been asked this several times, but who's your favorite candidate candidates? Um, so, 
you know, I really, I mean, I genuinely, even if it's for a video or not, I like to do like recreations of things like recreate yeah, history. Yeah. And so like, if someone is an RR84, like I'll try to jump in as a Mondale, you know, now what happens a lot of time is I really don't like how there's so many candidates in the shop and you have to like swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe. And by the time it gets there, like, you know, already full. <laughs> yeah. So then yeah. I go back to the lobby and sit there and, um, yeah. you know, it definitely depends. Like if it's a must win match, like, you know, I, Michelle Obama and RR84 are, I'd much rather be one of those two candidates than a president Biden myself. Um, I'm actually like 0 and 3 lately again. If President Biden, Zach Algays beat me the other day. It was a President Biden v. President Biden match. Yeah. Um, those those Oasis battles, you know, if you don't get the lead, it just snowballs badly. So I'd yeah. rather, you know, have a little bit more control. But I'm with you. You know, one of my very first candidates I ever purchased was the original Ronald Reagan because you know, he was unique. He had a towning gown bonus as a Republican. He had yeah. high national groups. You know, you no, know, I didn't grow. I was born in 91. So I, I didn't know who Ronald Reagan was like, you know, right. but what's crazy is, you know, for the longest time, 270 would not update Ronald Reagan because he, he made so much in sales. And I'm like, listen, people, if you're going to make a new candidate, just have one that's a national group, one that's a state group, two different experiences. People will buy it. Oh, that's a stupid idea, Brendan. No one will ever do that. And, you know, I full well, jokes on them. Yeah, finally coerced him into doing that. And, and I don't want to take all the credit because I, you know, I was one, I was one of the original Buff Reagan people, but, you know, it takes, it takes a, a mob mentality of like from consumers for people who like, you know, all they see your dollar signs. Yeah. But, I, you know, the, the community is such a great place. I mean, you know, there are tournaments like yours, tournaments like the ATP, tournaments like Survivor. You know, you can be a hardcore player or you don't have to be, you know, and that's the thing. Right. You know, I've taken a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube. I'm trying to, I've been posting almost daily for about a week now, trying to kind of get back into it. But, you know, uh, it, the community's great. If you're watching this and you somehow made it to like the 20 minute mark or whatever we are and you're, and you're still watching, uh, you probably are, have, are already in the community because <laughs> you know Garrett or know myself. But if you haven't, you know, I recommend joining because, you know, you might get you might meet somebody that you have a common interest with. Um, I, I've been able to meet several people in real life who play this game. It's, it's a great place. Honestly, I started playing on July 4th, 2020. Oh, here we and, go. and I didn't join the lounge until I think mid-October, late October. And, you know, I, was it I for a that, tournament code? Was that why you joined? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I, and I, I played in that tournament, like three matches, lost all of them. And, and I, then I went, you know, I've been missing a lot of stuff in here. And then I, my first, uh, my first tournament was the April ATP. And I've been, you know, jumping into the various ones since commissioning my own, as we talked about, but um, now the lounge is a, is a really great place to be. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of opinions. There's, I mean, and, and you know, the, like I definitely, as someone who has a little bit more um, say with the, the, the developers and team, like I don't want to abuse that. I want to get like everyone's opinions. And one thing, yeah. the very first thing we ever talked about was George Washington. Um, you know, how George yeah. Washington had this 60 person ag bonus. I remember that. And, um, you know, and I'm like, who's this guy? Like, what's, <laughs> He, who is he trying to question me? But I, you know, I value your opinion because, you know, I have always thought that also where it was kind of like an unofficial 50% the bar, but not every 50% is created equally. Right. You know, 50% African-American has really changed, you know, before, you know, Barack Obama and, you know, even back in the day, Barack Obama had like a 30% AA. Like, I, I don't know really? how much, so the history of kind of the characters, at one point, there was one candidate, Crooked Hillary, who had 50% everything. Totally broke the game. Like they, re, they redid this. It was like three years ago. Um, and the person who designed the original map, the person who came up with the character bonuses left the company. And so okay. it's been done, you know, by people who don't play the game. And so, you know, as the the landscape has become less political in the sense of, you know, it's not election season anymore. Like not the game is not dying, but in popularity sense, there's less casual people playing. It's more right. people who, you know, play the, the game regulars. and they really like yeah. the game. Um, you're going to get more 
accurate criticisms, but you're also going to have, you know, um, the owners and people who like look at the money side of it. And yeah. I don't know, I, I, I wasn't a huge fan of adding Gottheimer, but in the big picture, you know, if there is a politician who will promote the game, you know, I think they're worthy of being added to the game. Yeah. My personal That's beef, my personal beef is we don't give him a 50% swing state bonus because, you know, he gave me a thousand dollars or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he is an interesting ad, but you know, but I, I agree with that. Uh, if they're, if they, you know, support the game, which is fantastic, then, you know, scratch our back will scratch yours kind of deal but. right for sure and going back to the washington thing real quickly um you know and i and i'm not saying to disagree with you because it definitely matters but what was the fundamental reason why you didn't want 60 percent ag for washington yeah. so let me let me just jump on that i, for, I forgot about that uh for a minute but then yeah that was the kind of first time i individually had talked to someone i just kind of oh, I, I was the like, first one like i i would like in the dms like i'd, I'd oh, gotcha. on some posts but then you reached out and I went, okay. Then I, then I, when we started talking. Who's, and it, who's it, this, who's this weird guy? <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, it was, it was great. You know, you know, media now we've, you know, our group chats together, but anyway, responding to your question. Uh, my thing is that, you know, I don't think it's, you know, it's game breaking because, you know, agriculture is not a huge bonus and, you know, you can have 50% AA and, you know, A is a hundred percent or a hundred grand. So, you know, you could have, 50% high tech or swing, you know, that's, that's whatever. But, uh, and I, I, I just went, you know, I know, I know there's responsible people like, like yourself that help, you know, make, do the candidate designs. But when you see some of these, these uh, suggestions in the lounge for, for candidates, you know, some of them are jokes, some of them are not, but, you know, I didn't want to see, you know, oh, let's have 80% yeah this because because they really it opens like, the door it sets the precedent like oh we're now past the 50 percent threshold yeah i, I you know so i want to say I, i've kind of been one of the only ones beating that drum that's certainly fine and i you know i certainly see more of your side now that you know it's not you know game breaking all that stuff but i, I was certainly concerned that we'd see a lot of that you know how buff reagan was a big deal that's all you saw in the lounge. And if, you know, if somebody really, if somebody had a, you know, an idea that people really latched onto about an outrageous stat and all these people just start jumping on the bandwagon, I would have went, you know, yeah, but, uh, but no, I, I, I you know, I, and one, and one of the, uh, first Q and A's with Alex, mm -hmm. he talked about how, you know, he's the first president of the United States and, you know, a is not a, or a, a agriculture is not a big thing. So there were certainly, good reasons that i uh, that i stand with but that that was my main concern but you know so I, we've, alex, spoke, we've spoken on that and alex and I, was and just saying what i told him to say because he had no <laughs> idea he had like a little cheat sheet he's like um let me look at my um so yeah <laughs> okay okay that, uh, but that no and up. and uh, i will say to defend alex uh he gets a lot of flack and some of it is deserving but he does listen to the players um he doesn't listen to all players. He can kind of have to earn his trust a little bit. Yeah. But um, if there's someone who's listening, to this, again, if you're to the end of this video and you made it, I, I bet you're pretty hardcore. Um, you know, if you have a beef, you know, reach out to me. I can kind of explain what I know. I may not know. Um, the feedback message is the best way to contact them through the game. Um, but remember, once you hit send, there's no going back from that. So if you want to like cross-reference something or double check you know i don't mind talking to anybody via facebook um you can follow me on twitter if you do if you're not a facebook person at brendan borman just my name um or message or drop a comment in the video and we can connect so um but yeah garrett i i really appreciate you you hopping on um i said 10 to 15 minutes we're going on like 30 here so <laughs> that's okay it's been fun but you it's been, are it's been officially, great talking to you yeah, for sure. And you are officially invited to come back uh, whenever you want to. So I do anticipate having um, several of the guys from our group chat kind of in a round table. Um, I'm also hilariously enough in a, a Democratic group <laughs> um, that I was added. Um, it, it really wasn't that in the beginning, but it's kind of turned into that. Um, several people left. 
Um, so I get kind of both sides of it. So I think just to be fair, I might have like a Republican round table and then do it like a Democratic round table just to kind of give equal opportunity. So yeah, sure. We can, we can go first. Yeah. There, yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I appreciate it, Garrett, and I will sign us off, but, um, where can people find you? If you want them to find you, you may not want them to find you. Well, <laughs> Are you on Twitter I, or anything? I'm not on Twitter, but I think just for now, the, uh, the Facebook is, the uh, Facebook is good enough. I, uh, you know, DMs always open. If you have any questions about the expedition or anything, certainly, uh, let me know if you, if you ever just want to play a game, you know, I have to play a game with Brett Aaron Steiner. He's been asking me and I've been so busy. I'll play with you, but there uh, you go. But uh, yeah, just reach out if you need me, but uh, yeah, thanks a lot for having me. You betcha. Well, thank you guys. Um, and I, I know it's going to be a 4th of July weekend. I probably will take a couple of days, but spend time with some family. Um, be safe out there. Remember, um, you know, fireworks are some serious thing. So, and don't do not drink and drive. Um, but anyway, this is Brendan Borman and we'll catch you guys in the next 270 video.